doing couple meeting can be a great blessing for your relationship, as we talked about in our last video. Here, you're able to deal with high conflict issues, such as your schedules or your budget, or sometimes even the disagreements and sins that we have inside our relationship. In having this planned, you're prepared to hear some things that normally you don't want to hear, or maybe even plan how to say something that you're really a little uncomfortable in saying. This also helps us filter through those things which are really molehills and that we make into mountains. It helps us determine those conflicts which we really can manage and deal with inside our relationship. But this will require good listening skills. In fact, great listening skills for hearing these kinds of difficult things can really be summed up in what I like to call relational first aid. Just like any situation in looking at a, a hurt, you begin to assess the whole situation. A lot of this comes from Dr. William Doherty's research uh, and can be remembered in the acronym LEAP. Assessing that situation is really listening to your spouse and really seeking to understand what's going on, what they're sharing. It's more than just hearing their words. It's, it's reading into what their uh, body language is and how their tone is communicating so that you really understand the issue that they're trying to share with you. Once you understand that issue, you're going to practice good active listening and actually say, what I hear you saying is this in order to make sure that you get it right. By doing that, your spouse is going to be able to either affirm, you really do understand that. Once you have that understanding, you're able to empathize with your spouse and seek to really feel alongside them. Not just feeling sorry for a hurt that you caused, but actually putting yourself in their shoes and thinking, you know, this is how I would feel if somebody had done this to me. It allows you to really empathize and, and, and fully understand the conflict or the issue that the two of you are talking about. Once you empathize with that, you're able to affirm their emotional position. And having that understanding, you can accept responsibility for a hurt that possibly you caused or for the hurt that maybe a situation that you found yourself in brought about. And finally, there's perspective. We don't always use this because sometimes it well, it takes away an actual apology. Uh, providing perspective sometimes can negate what you really want to accomplish. It, it often sounds like this, well, I'm really, really sorry about this, but I had a bad day, and so that makes everything okay. That, that's not what perspective is. Instead, perspective is simply allowing a, a larger field of view to come into play. We'll often use this in times when we're talking about uh, finances, our, our budgeting, or, or even our scheduling. And by making a certain choice, we then are going to say this is how it's going to affect the larger picture of our family, or our relationship, or our working schedules, or any of those things. By offering perspective after we first have listened and empathized and then affirmed it puts us in a position to actually see the full field of view, not just from our point of view, but also from our spouse's point of view. This kind of perspective can be valuable when used in the right way in order to move us toward understanding. Again, to review that relational first aid leap, listen, empathize, affirm, and offer perspective. While we often say we fall in love Staying in love requires that we leap toward one another again and again. My prayer is that you are able to continue to grow together in this kind of oneness as God desires for you. Join me next time for another Marriage Minute.